What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys some little bit of tips and tricks today for the Trials of Osiris on Asylum this weekend. So for me, the easiest gun that I've found to use is the Queenbreaker's Bow. Now, if you don't have that, I know a lot of people don't have it. I would definitely use a sniper or a shotgun. Also, No Land Beyond is also pretty decent on this map. And I also am pretty much sticking to the Blind Perdition and Hand Cannons. Any Hand Cannon will pretty much work, whether it's the Last Word, the Hawk Moon or the Eyes Luna, it really just kind of depends on what you prefer and what roles you have and what you kind of have to work with. So I would definitely rock some sort of hand cannon. Blind Perdition also works pretty well. Outbreak Prime can work too if you play right. But for the most part, I've been sticking to the high fire rate pulse rifles as they seem to get the job done a little bit better. And if you have high caliber rounds, you can stagger a lot of the snipers as well. Now the Queenbreaker's Bow, like I said, is pretty much my favorite thing to use on this map. It's the easiest thing to get snipes with. And with the ammo capacity as high as it is, it's pretty overpowered and I never even really touch my primary. So if you have the Quinnberg's Bow, you most likely won't even really need your primary at all throughout the good majority of the game, so long as you stick to those heavy boxes. And if you throw on a piece of gear that gives you extra fusion ammo, it'll also help you out a little bit as well. Just remember to do that with every piece of gear you're using. If you're using the sniper, be sure to use the ammo capacity for, this, for the leg pieces for snipers and vice versa for all the pieces of gear that you're using. Now also, it's really important to take up a tactic and really just pick a side of the map that you want to play on. Either you want to play on the left side or the right side, it's really up to your team to decide. Just always keep in mind that up top where the stairs are here on my left is where the flag does spawn in after the time goes down. So a lot of people do like to control that up top room. It gives them the advantage of the extra height and it also gives them the point when that spawns in as well. So a lot of people will like to pound green in that room. But just remember that the side on the right side of the map with all the water in it is always available. It's a very good part of the map that a lot of people don't use. A lot of sniper kills happen over here and this is where you're going to use your pulse rifle the most as well. So if you're rocking the pulse rifle and a sniper, I would always suggest here, I'll stay over here where I'm at now by this water side. This is the easiest territory if you're using a sniper and a pulse rifle. And I do definitely like that area a lot better than up top because I, every time I'm up top, as much as the point is there, and as strategically, it's probably like the best place to sit. I find it really bad to be up there because a lot of times, against certain teams, even if you go up there, you're kind of just trapped. And if you do go up there, you end up having to stay towards the back and just eat a lot of grenades. So going up top sometimes is great. Like I said, you're going to see me and my team go up through the top. The only thing is, when you go up top, you really need to commit. If you go up top and you don't rush hard enough, it's not going to work. You really need to push as hard as you possibly can. If they even get out of that room on their side where we just killed them, you're going to have a lot of difficulty. So anytime you and your team go up top, you really want to get there as fast as possible. You have to keep them in their spawn into that room. Otherwise, once they get out, they're going to be able to get a lot more angles on you and be able to get you. And you and your team are going to get caught off guard. There's really just too many places to check. So if you keep them in that room... It's usually a really great place to keep them. You can get a lot of grenades in there as well, and you're able to get a lot of snipes in there pretty easily. And if you open up a game with that and you just get in there really fast, within a minute you can have two rounds on a team, and it really throws them off guard, and it's hard to come back from that. So if you usually get the first two rounds really fast, you can usually win the entire game because the team will just kind of get thrown off guard and not really know what to do against you. Now, also, another thing you want to keep in mind is your supers. Now, for our team, we've been rocking the bubble the entire time. Our Titan has had a bubble pretty much the entire time. It's made things really easy. So bubble and tether are definitely things I really do suggest on this map. Now Blade Dancer is also pretty great and Slam is pretty universal on every map just to kind of shut down other supers. It's up to you and your team to decide that as well, but you really do want to play those supers kind of strategically. Here I'm on a 4-0 game, so I'm just kind of blowing my supers in, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But in certain games that you're playing up against, once you get into your higher rounds, like 7th, 8th game, you really do need to focus on those super kills and make sure you get them all at the same time. You really don't want to waste your supers into nothing. You want to make sure you can generate as many orbs as possible for you and your team as well. And really just make sure that you're utilizing your supers for what they're meant for. Other than that, guys, just be sure to communicate with your team. Really make sure that you guys know what's happening. And if you get a kill first off, make sure to play that res. Make sure the other team never gets that res. And usually you should come on top with a win. So hopefully these tips do help you and your team to get at least your 7 wins, if not flawless, on the Asylum map this week on Charles Bo Cyrus. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. Also, if you're interested in going flawless this weekend, be sure to check out the live stream here. I will drop a link in the description. We will be bringing people to the lighthouse pretty much all weekend long during that live stream. So definitely just be sure to check in there if you're interested in that. Other than that, I will catch you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.